About an hour and a half from the nation's capital is the inn at Little Washington, in this case, Washington, Virginia. Much of the inn's acclaim is due to Chef Patrick O'Connell's cooking. With his partner, Reinhard Lynch, he has developed an award-winning menu. The fish course is a good example, tuna filet with foie gras. We're going to do a filet mignon of tuna capped with a seared duck foie gras. And the tuna is going to be charred and cooked very rare. Uh, so we're going to assemble all of our ingredients first. Here we have a whole uh, fattened duck liver from upstate New York. And to get it ready, we're going to plunge it into some ice water so it firms up and any little uh, veins or uh, blood that were in the packaging are cleansed. Then we're going to take a wonderful uh, filet of yellowfin tuna, cut exactly in the uh, style of a filet mignon, give it a little salt and pepper, and set it to the side. And for this, we're going to blacken some onions. We're just going to brush them in a little vegetable oil. And here we have uh, a burning hot skillet that's white hot. And we'll just lay the onions right on top of the skillet. And after about three or four minutes, they will be charred for the base of the plate. We'll just take an onion and unfold it in little concentric rings. Then we have cut a carrot and a zucchini into ribbons, which is a wonderful way to uh, serve vegetables, especially to people who don't like vegetables. They don't quite even know what they are done in this manner. We use a simple little uh, dime store cutter to cut the zucchini like so. And you can make numerous dishes with this. But it gives a nice little crunch and a beautiful color to this tuna dish. So we will drop these into boiling salted water, dropping the carrot first, because it takes just a little longer to cook than the uh, zucchini does. After about two minutes in the water, we will bring them out. And if we're doing this in advance, drop plunge them into ice water to refresh them and hold their color. Now I'll drop the zucchini ribbons into the boiling water. And simultaneously, we're going to make a red wine butter sauce to go with the dish. The French call the sauce a bar rouge, and it's the same kind of rich, dark sauce that you'd serve with a filet mignon. So the whole dish is going to be treated just as if it were beef, and it gives a wonderful new dimension to tuna. <clears throat> so we have here some balsamic vinegar and some red wine with a little piece of shallot added to this pot and it's going to gently reduce until it becomes a syrup. Then into the syrup, very quickly, cold butter is going to be whisked. And Dave, my sous chef, will be doing that at the same time that we're getting the plate ready. So meanwhile, our onions are looking nicely burnt. And we'll give those a flip in the back. Carrot ribbons are just done. They still have a little uh, texture. And we'll plunge those into ice water. And this has stopped their cooking, and now you can work with them in advance.
So the whole plate can be assembled prior to cooking the tuna and then just warmed gently under a salamander and the tuna placed on top. This is the world's slowest burner today. Here's the zucchini. You don't want to overcook it. Just enough so that it has a nice texture. And by putting it in the ice water, the color comes out wonderfully green. If you, if you were making this for yourself or you wanted to do it instantaneously, of course, you don't have to refresh it. But it does have the advantage of bringing out a wonderful green color to the zucchini. So now that these are drained, we can flavor them with a little salt and pepper, toss them. And we're going to coat them with some browned butter, which will give them a wonderful flavor. If you don't want to use butter, you could use oil or whatever you like. And then on each plate, we laid two of the green ribbons and two of the yellow ribbons. Kind of twisted, letting the onions form a kind of perimeter. And then two of the carrot ribbons. It's amazing how many people will eat this and not have any idea what these colored vegetables are. Our tuna wants to come to room temperature before we put it into our special skillet with the ridges, which will give it a kind of uh, grill mark uh, look. Uh, if it's not at room temperature and that interior is cold straight from the refrigerator, when you cook it rare, somebody might find the interior a little too cool to, for their liking. We're going to put just a little tiny drop of vegetable oil on this tuna. And then into our ridged skillet, set him right down. Meanwhile, the sauce here is incorporating the butter bit by bit so that it forms a, uh, an emulsion held and creates a wonderful, rich, dark, mahogany, luscious looking, intense sauce. We listed on our menu as served rare, and because of its resemblance to a filet mignon, most people are very delighted with it. It uh, is a great meat substitute. The liver now has nice, firm texture and a beautiful uh, ivory color. Always works best to slice it with a, a knife that you've warmed in a little hot water. You'll get one nice, beautiful ivory slice. Now the tuna can come off. The foie gras was seasoned with salt and pepper and is quickly seared. And we want to give it a little sheen and a little bit of flavor with our, our brown butter on the top. Slip it right on top of the tuna. Garnish with a few of the charred onions. This is our red wine butter sauce with the balsamic vinegar and the red wine reduced with the butter whisked in. We just make three little pools around the tuna. And this is a very rich sauce. You don't need that much. So you hardly want anybody to be aware that the dish is sauced. And that's it. Filet mignon of tuna with uh, seared duck foie gras, charred onions, and ribbons of zucchini and carrot.